I I want to inform my subscribers, which many are hardworking people who work every day to survive. And this is an opportunity to get ahead. And I'm someone who took her own money, put it on the line, and I'm already seeing the return on investment. I'm here to speak about XRP and Ripple. They are related, but they are not the same. I want my subscribers to understand the opportunity in front of them. When I started investing in XRP about a year ago, they were selling five for a dollar, then they were four for a dollar, three for a dollar, two for a dollar. Now, at this moment, they're one and a half for a dollar. So they're still obtainable if you decide to invest in XRP, cryptocurrency. I'm investing in XRP, but I'm also investing in the blockchain, the Ripple blockchain. XRP is the cryptocurrency that Ripple, the company, created to operate on Ripple, the blockchain. It, it's the basic idea that using a common unit of currency makes the transactions easier to record. XRP is an open source ledger. Anyone transferring money converts their native currency to XRP and transfers that. So say I'm um, in the United States, I have FIO currency, fiat currency, and I want to send money abroad to the other side of the world, whatever it is, whatever native currency it is. I'm going to use XRP, I'm going to use my fiat currency, my US dollar, and I'm going to use Ripple, and while I use Ripple to almost in real time send a financial transaction to a friend on the other side of the world, it would only take seconds and Ripple will convert my fiat dollar into the currency that they need to spend wherever they are. It converts in almost real time. It's unbelievable how fast it is and for pennies it's nearly free global financial transactions with no chargebacks. There's no need to wait days and pay high fees to move money around globally. There's just no need if you're using the Ripple real-time gross settlement system. Okay, I got a bunch of clips. I don't want this to be too long. I want to help get the point across. This is going to change the financial system. That's a strong point. I was getting ready to take the, the conversation there. I agree with you. I think once we cross a dollar this time, because there is a, a, a very big difference between 2017, 18, and where we are today in 2020, right? If we look at, you know, the onset of PayPal, which we'll get into in another conversation. But, you know, we look at those things and the announcement of Libra now, 2.7 billion users coming in. Uh, on Facebook, Facebook and having access to a digital dollar. And I'm sure that that's going to, you know, fall in line and look a lot like the PayPal structure there. Well, you remember when over the summer, or was it a year Listen or two ago, this. that we had those discussions, and I think it was two years ago in uh, Congress, when, uh, you know, the, the, I forgot the guy's name from uh, Libra, he was dragged in there and, and grilled, and he held up under pressure pretty well. I, I have to give it to him. He did a very nice job. But, boy, he was flustered. I could tell. He was just like, oh, man, these guys don't know anything about anything you know, when it comes to cryptocurrencies. Yeah. But, but, you know, now they're launching. It's like, wait a minute. This should be another wake-up call to Congress. It should be another wake-up call to all the legislators and to the authorities, you know, especially in the OCC and the Treasury Department. They need to get a handle on this. We need some regulatory clarity. We need to get this thing settled because this thing's going to take off whether they like it or not. That is so true. It's so true. Now listen to this. This one's a little low, but I'm only going to play it for a few moments.
long-standing argument to which just a couple days ago Brad Garlinghouse addressed even further in, a, in, a, in an interview about XRP potentially being a security here in the United States. Ask yourself these things. NASDAQ carries the price feed index for XRP. Do you really think that NASDAQ would be carrying the indices for XRP if they thought it was an unregistered security? Did you hear that? NASDAQ. They know it's, they have to take action. They don't have a choice anymore. Now listen to this. I'm going to include these links in the description below. Give these channel shout outs. This one is much louder. Ladies and gentlemen, we see this from Fin Extra, titled that the European Central Bank warns the future of money is at stake as Facebook preps January crypto launch. Ladies and gentlemen, why is this important? Facebook and big tech social media companies are the biggest threat to central banks. Keep this in your mind as I read this. And then I'll explain it more to you. As new leaks about a possible 2021 launch for Facebook's digital currency Libra, a senior European Central Bank official warns what is at stake is nothing short of the future of money. Facebook's Libra is ready to launch as early as January, the Financial Times reported on Friday, citing three unidentified people involved in the project. The Geneva-based Libra Association that will issue and govern Libra plans to launch a single digital coin backed by the dollar, a significant scaling back from its recently revised plans to issue a series of stable coins backed by individual traditional currencies, as well as a token based on the currency peg stable coin. The news alarmed central banks, which are currently at the minimum of two years from creating their own digital alternatives. Do you hear that? Of course they have to jump in. If Facebook unfolds their Libra cryptocurrency, their native coin they created off of a blockchain, and I'm not sure what blockchain they're on. They might have their own blockchain. This is going to be amazing to learn all of this as it unfolds. Of course this the central bank has to get involved. Everything has to be regulated. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna be off the charts. So I'm hoping that Facebook is using the XRP open source ledger. I'm hoping that Facebook is using the Ripple blockchain. I hope they used it to create their own native cryptocurrency. I'm still learning. I hope, I hope I'm getting my point across. Here's another one. Listen to this. But I wanted to show everybody this. This is a very short clip. But I want to show you this because this is Sologenic. And they are tokenizing over 40,000 stocks, ETFs, and commodities on the XRP ledger. Here are some of the benefits. Now listen to this. Watching on um, removing geographical barriers. Say, um, someone from before he speaks. I'm sorry, I I cut it off like that. He's speaking about solo genet, gen, genetic, solo genetic. Now, I'll sh I'll get more into that in a moment. Listen to this. Peru can now invest in an asset that's being offered. In California, uh, with all the security, speed, and ease of the blockchain, now that assets are accessible by a much larger population, liquidity in these markets will be improved significantly. And of course, users can now buy and sell in fractions. This means, again, a larger contribution by the global population, rather than limiting trading for professional investors or institutions only. Once an asset is tokenized, you will no longer have to be paying fees for brokers or third parties, trades can now be conducted on the blockchain without any other intermediaries. That saves you a lot of money and time. You can diversify your portfolio between uh, across different uh, asset classes. 
um, you no longer are bound to be investing in a set of assets offered by your bank or brokerage firm. You can convert in a matter of seconds, such as converting your XRP um, assets to shares of, say, Tesla, with just that one click. And of course, other key factors of tokenization on the blockchain are transparency, are immutability, and it is blazingly fast, especially on the XRP ledger. I mean, let me tell you something. This, this is remarkable. First of all, I got to shout out Sologenic. That is Reza from Sologenic, and he is really, really just a brilliant guy. And Bob Ross, too, from Sologenic. And these guys have done an amazing job at choosing, for one, to build on the XRP ledger. And you will hear from them in the film Kryptonaires, by the way. Um, very excited. They're using the XRP ledger. Sologenic. Trade tokenized assets 24-7 on the Sologenic Decentralized Exchange. Built on top of the XRP ledger, the DEX is where users can trade tokenized assets against Solo or XRP. The users hold their private keys of the wallets, providing them complete ownership and authority over their crypto assets. The future of the web is decentralizing. I'll get into that in future videos. I already have my hand in that. It facilitates swift transactions, quick settlements, and improved security of the user's cryptocurrencies. So it's like it's like a stock exchange, but it's decentralized. You have complete control over your assets. And where you can do that on Sologenic, they're using the XRP blockchain to do it. If you don't know what DEX means, it's a decentralized exchange. I'm learning as I go along. If you don't know what G20 means, it's a group of 20, a collection of 20 of the world's largest economies formed in 1999, was conceived as a block that would bring together the most important industrial and developing economies to discuss international economic and financial stability. Everybody's going hovering over the XRP, Ripple, Blockchain, Open Source Ledger. I hope you found that interesting. If you visit MyIncomeJob.com and you go to the sidebar and click on Inside a Stock Market, I keep updating it. Today I, I added a paragraph. This is a chance of a lifetime. For someone, I believe in it so much, I'm here to help reach an audience that probably wasn't a, aware of this crypto opportunity with the XRP. Because it's not just about cryptocurrency. It's about a global exchange platform. Say, I gotta look at it to say it, of course. It's a real time gross settlement system. You can move money around within seconds and only be charged pennies anywhere in the world. And the central bank are getting involved now. And they're having their meeting, they're starting to have their meetings, and they probably have had meetings already in December. I keep hearing the dates, December 3rd and December 12th, are two very important days in December. And I want to get people out of the dark. You can keep working and keep doing what you're doing, but don't you want to make your life a little easier financially? This is a chance of a lifetime. The rich keep getting richer, and let me read you my paragraph that I added. 
The United States dollar continues to lose value. The pension and 401k you continue to contribute to will be worth a lot less come retirement time. That's a fact. I've watched and I've listened. I've listened to many people get very upset about their 401ks that they work so hard for. And I already know for a fact that pensions are not as secure as they claim to be compared to years ago. The revamped financial system has been in play for years and now unfolding to reach the masses. All people will use the new system and most won't realize they are using it. They're going to be, you're going to, the masses are going to be forced to use blockchains and, and to do all their financial transactions, but they miss the opportunity of a lifetime to invest. For pennies, I pointed out, I started five for a dollar, I was, then I bought four for a dollar, three for a dollar, two for a dollar, and the opportunity is still there, it's still obtainable. The prices are right for everyday hard-working people to be able to invest before the price rises to unobtainable highs. And that's exactly what's going to go down. And I'm keeping an eye out on the Ripple blockchain going IPO. I already looked into it, and that's why the rich get richer, because I joined the site to see if I could buy Ripple blockchain, and you had to spend a minimum of $10,000 in order to do it. That's why the rich continue to get richer. This opportunity at these prices gives someone like me an opportunity to become, to, to become a multimillionaire, and I'm doing a lot more than this, and I see myself eventually becoming a billionaire. I'm here to tell you, visit the links in the description below. If you do anything on your computer, please use some kind of VPN, virtual private network. I have a link in the description below if you want to check this out. Um, they give you a little something for referring people. But I'm here to tell you, protect your iPhone, protect your desktop, protect your iPad, your tablets. You have to. Because now the, the game has changed. There's no one to go to if something goes wrong with your money. You, you are becoming your own bank. And I say that because you can visit the link in the description below. The, uh, um, I got all my crypto on a cold ledger, and I forced myself to learn how to use it, and I struggled. But it's worth it. If you're going to invest a significant amount of money, you make sure you get a cold ledger. And you watch YouTube videos and learn how to use it. Get your crypto on your cold ledger. And what's more important than a cold ledger? Your recovery phrase. Make sure you and at least a couple of people that are your beneficiaries to your crypto know what it is. So in case if anything ever happened to you, you know at least someone you love will have access to your money because this is the wave of the future. <sighs> anything else to share with you? This was long. I hope, I, I, I hope you learned something. You gain knowledge. You see the opportunity. You can also invest in XLM because right now XLM, just so you know, the person who used to work for XRP that created the code to create the blockchain left XRP and developed XLM. So they work the same way. But the focus for the central banks and global transactions is about the XRP, but XLM is also built the same way. And right now, you can get XLM for four for a dollar. Check it out. I use Coinbase, and then I transfer my crypto to my cold wallet. Have a good one, folks. You can check out this page, and I share more information. Um, if you decide to learn more about other blockchains and other companies I invest in, from all the research that I do, I do charge a small fee for that. But then you have future access to anything I do in the future. It's a one 
flat rate fee, some kind of compensation for all the fines that I find and all the information that I'm gathering and all the research that I'm doing. I wish you luck. Don't miss out on this opportunity, guys. Look at these prices. You're never going to see them again. Once, it, once the rocket sets off, it's never coming back. Never. And these prices are amazing because I learned there are people who bought into XRP when they paid $3. So this was a score for someone like me. And I made sure.